Good morning guys, we are out here in the garden. It's been a while since I've been doing some work in the garden because it's been so hot out. I'm talking like upper 90s, way too hot to be outside. I've had to supplement my plants with some water because they wilt in the heat. And then it's been so rainy the last couple days. So it is early Saturday morning, it's nice and overcast. So we're gonna do some work in the garden. I've gotta pull out some dead plants. We're gonna see how much we harvest. Look how tall my sunflowers are. Oh, they're so gorgeous. So I'll give you a little tour. Since my last tour, everything's exploded and has grown so much. We need to pull some weeds, so let's get started. Look how many cucumbers we've gotten. Oh, wow. Now, I have four or five cucumber plants because I didn't label them. Some of them are pickles, some of them are cucumbers, only actually one turned out to be pickles. So this one here is actually not doing very well. There's not even any flowers on this. This is just a regular cucumber plant. So I'm actually gonna pull it up because it's not doing very well. It's kind of taken space from my viney plants that I can vine over this way. So I'm gonna pull this out because look how many cucumbers we've already gotten. We don't need another cucumber plant. It's not a pickle plant, sadly. Uh, well, I guess there's a little baby cucumber on there, but this plant's not doing well, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take it out. I don't need four cucumber plants. I wish I had labeled it and I'd had more pickle plants because I don't think I'm really going to be able to make pickles this year. So I'm going to go get the wheelbarrow to put this in. Okay, just park it right over here. I can move this vining cucumber over a little bit more so it's not running into my watermelon. We can get it to grow more out this way where there's more room for it. Now we're going to harvest the zucchini and we're going to check for squash bugs and pull up the dead zucchini plants. So if you saw my last garden tour video, then you know I planted seven <laughs> zucchini plants and they've been dying slowly one by one. So I only have two good ones now. And the one that you just saw me harvesting, I checked for squash bugs. Okay. So this little leaf here is full of squash bug eggs. So I just pulled that portion off. I checked all the other ones. The other ones are fine. This one here, this leaf has some, I just pulled it off because it's got powdery mildew on it. And then also it has several batches of squash bug eggs so we're just gonna pull this off i'm not gonna compost this obviously um, now sometimes if the squash bugs have already hatched i can throw it into the chickens and they'll eat the little baby squash bugs but this i'm just gonna put it right into our dumpster this zucchini plant is dying i'm not sure i don't think the squash bugs killed it i don't know they've slowly been dying off on me but this one it has a rotten zucchini on it and it hasn't produced anything in a while so again i'm just gonna pull this one up so we have more room in the garden there are squash bugs on here. You want to squish them. Oh well, I need the diatomaceous earth. Okay, I gotta be back real quick. See all the little baby squash bugs? So I'm just gonna take some diatomaceous earth and I'm just gonna sprinkle it all around the bottom. We're gonna take this straight to the dumpster. Ugh.
Oh my goodness, wow, they're all over. Okay, they're all over here. We're gonna try to squish them through my gloves. That's so gross. Because we don't want them spreading to my next plant. They're already on their way over to my next zucchini plant. We need the torch to just torch them. In the garage. I don't know how to use it. Do I turn the valve on all the way? Sure, why not? Well, I just didn't know, is that what I'm supposed to do? Yeah. How did I shut it off? Turn the valve off. Oh. Go ahead. Now show me. So that zucchini plant had a big squash bug. So that one's probably gonna die here pretty soon. This one is still pretty healthy. I pulled off the leaves and parts that had squash bug eggs and then I cleaned up some dead leaves in there so we're still getting zucchini it still looks pretty good and then these ones here I started some yellow squash seeds inside and then when I pulled out my dead zucchini here I just planted these so we might get a few uh, yellow squash before the frost but we've got some going in there and that one's doing okay I did find some squash eggs on this one, so I just pulled that little part off. I didn't want to take the whole leaf off because there's not that many leaves on the plant, so I think it'll be okay. I'll just keep an eye on it. Here's my pile of dead leaves and squash bug egg leaves, and then look at all this zucchini we got. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six large zucchini. And here's and a baby cucumber. A baby cucumber. Yeah, we've got tons of cucumber in here. All right, let's keep moving on. green beans we got. This is probably going to be, oops, I'm going to can these. This is probably going to be at least three to four quarts. I canned three quarts last week. Um, last year I canned over 50 quarts of green beans. So we're not doing as good with the green beans this year. So let me show you. We have a little problem in our green beans. See these here? This happened two years ago. I have no idea what's going on, but they get really bumpy, dried out, and curly. They're still producing green beans, but they're slowly going to die off. So this happened two years ago. We lost our green beans. Look at this. It's starting here. And then over there, it's all real healthy. So it's slowly moving through. So we're just going to keep harvesting as long as we can. And there's several in here throughout here, like this one here. This one is almost dead. But I'm going to leave it because there's still some flowers and it'll keep producing till it dies. And then over here at the end of the garden, we've got some that are dying. And there were a few like really tiny ones that were dying. So I just pulled those out. I threw them over there for now. So that is our bean patch. My cabbage did not survive. It was doing great. I have no idea what happened. So it's been like this for a while. I need to clean it up. I need to harvest some lettuce. This one here is gonna be bitter because it's going to seed. So the chickens love 
about this. So we're gonna just pull this up. Whoa. We're gonna go give it to the chickens. Nice thing about having chickens in a garden is they just eat the stuff that, you know, gets bitter or goes bad. Well, not bad, because you don't want to give them bad stuff, but the stuff that, you know, we don't eat. It stinks over here so bad. It like completely rotted from the root. So I need to dig those up. I have no idea what happened. I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research so I can avoid that next year. My camera battery went dead, so I weeded this area and I picked some lettuce while my battery was charging. Here's the kale. It's kind of getting to that point in the season where it's getting covered with aphids and they're really hard to get off. So I've already frozen several bags for our smoothies. So when it gets to this point, I just pick it and start giving it to the chickens each day. Took out my cabbage, harvested some lettuce, and now we're gonna move on to the corn. How you know if corn is ready is the silk dries up, and this is already starting to open up. And if you're not quite sure, you can pull it down a little bit, and you can actually see that the corn is ready. If it's smaller and really light, it's probably not ready. Also, you can tell by the size. Sometimes you can feel the kernels in there. This one is ready, so I'm gonna go ahead and pick it. And because this is an organic garden, it is full of bugs, uh, but usually they just destroy the top part. We give that to the chickens and then we eat the rest. So I'm just gonna pile the corn here and then we'll shuck it in a minute. So with all the corn and green beans that we're picking, I'm gonna have steak for dinner. So I need to run real quick and get the steak out of the freezer. So pause and I'll be right back. There's an airplane flying overhead. Um, sometimes the corn just opens itself up and this doesn't really look very good. So I'm gonna actually just, ah, bugs. I'm gonna peel this one and just give this one straight to the chickens. You can see the little bug on there. Here's all the corn I got. Some of them are fairly large, others are a little bit smaller. So we're gonna go ahead and open these up. I'm gonna do it over my wheelbarrow to catch the bugs. Ooh, this one's beautiful. There's actually no bugs in this one. Look at that, it's so nice. The tip of it is a little weird. So I'm just gonna break that tip off and I'll throw this into the chickens. All right, let's finish the rest of the corn. Okay, so some of the corn is really bad and you can't really cut out all those spots. So I'm gonna give these to the chickens. This one had a bunch of worms in it, but like these ones here, I can just cut off that top part. And there's a few down here. Well, this one might be a little hard to cut out all those spots, so I'll give that one to the chickens. But we do have a few really nice ones in here. There, this one has a few bad spots, so like I said, I'll just cut those out. So we've got some nice corn for dinner. So let's go give these to the chickens. They love corn so much. You can see their feast of kale and uh, lettuce that has gone to seed and all the previous corn we've given them because we do eat the corn on the cob for dinner and then we just throw them the rest and they clean it off. They are happy chickens. So my next area is the carrots and they're not quite ready. Sorry, the AC is on. Hopefully you can hear me. Uh, the peppers are not quite ready. We had a slow start to the peppers this year, but look at these ones over here. These are the Mamma Mia ones. Look how huge these are. They're supposed to turn colors along with most of the other peppers. So we're just gonna leave those for now and we're saving the tomatoes for last because tomatoes will paint you green and then I'm gonna need to shower and clean up after that. So welcome to my tomato bush, my tomato forest. 
Um, some of the plants, like this one right here, has died. So I'm going to pull out the ones that are not doing well and that are dying so that we have more room to get into the ones that are doing well and pick tomatoes. like it's doing too well. I did get a few tomatoes off of it and there's one that almost looks a little bit ready here. This one here is dead. So I use these little tomato clip things. It's dead so we're just gonna take it out. I guess we'll compost it. Some weeds here. Pull those. Looks like it didn't have water to it. Here's the little thing. Hmm, interesting. Maybe it died because it didn't have water. This is my Roma tomato bush that just completely exploded. I need to dig through there and see if there's any Romas in here that are ripe. There's lots of green ones here that dig a little bit more. I don't think there's any ripe ones yet. Oh, there's one in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's almost ripe. So this is one of my Roma tomatoes and it produced, I don't know if you can see these itty bitty tomatoes. They've shriveled up. They're supposed to be Romas, but it just obviously died. Doesn't look like it has a very big root system. So we're just gonna take this out and make room for my tomato bush. I'll we'll also take out the uh, little tomato cage. And you'll notice that some of these are actually staked up. Um, the Roma tomatoes they left in cages, um, but the other ones. So this one here, let me show you. On my Instagram a long time ago, I was pruning one of those bushes and I accidentally tore off a little twig. And it was a part I wanted to keep, so I put it in water. I'll show you a picture. And it grew roots and I planted it and now look at it it's actually growing some tomatoes right here so if you want to grow more tomato plants then break off a piece put it in water and then stick it in the ground once it gets roots Go ahead and pick a banana pepper and a um, jalapeno so I can make some salsa tonight. Let's find a good one in here. They're all pretty small. Let's pick some cilantro too. Here is our beautiful garden harvest today. We got six zucchini, lots of cucumber, some lettuce, red leaf, cilantro, tomatoes. Look at this gorgeous orange yellow tomato. That is gorgeous. It's huge and it's really heavy. So we got lots of tomatoes, lots of pear tomatoes, some corn and tons of green beans. So I hope you guys enjoyed this garden harvest with me. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, leave me a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys next time. Ah, oh, my arms are itchy. I'm allergic to gardening. Okay, I need to go get cleaned up before I die here. Ah.